what is going on everybody just wanted to make a quick little video uh, going over why the zone coverage will be patched in Madden 18 in the near future a sim football critic who is a reliable source on this type of information uh, basically confirmed it through Twitter as you can see here saying that it will not be a day one patch but there is definitely a patch in the works in production and that it will be coming to us in the near future so I just kind of wanted to go over and highlight an example of why that is going to be the case so basically right here we're in the New Orleans Saints playbook gun tray Y flex PA crossers is the play uh, this is the original play right here and what I'm gonna do the only adjustment I'm gonna drag Kobe Fleener now the adjustment not really important I just want to get him out of the way uh, the main route you want to focus on here is gonna be that Michael Thomas deep crossing route uh, by the B receiver and you're gonna notice that there's basically no zone in the game that is going to defend this route so Starting off, we're going to run it against cover two with soft squats, so a cover two sink like setup. We're going to go ahead and run it against cover two with cloud flats, basically a standard Tampa two. We're going to go ahead and run it against cover three sky with curl flats. And then last but not least, we're going to run it against cover four on the outside with quarter flats. So you're going to see it against four different underneath zones and three different deep zones, and you're going to see that each time none of the zones are able to defend this route. So, first and foremost, we'll go ahead and go with cover two with soft squat so cover two sync setup here and we're gonna highlight Michael Thomas every single time just to put that much more emphasis on him so if you don't know how to highlight you press Y A for individual coverage and then the icon of the receiver so B and then A again to spotlight him so we're gonna spotlight him each and every time and right here uh, you're gonna go ahead and see kinda what happens so crossing the field nobody anywhere close to making a play as you saw right there the soft squat did not drop deep enough uh, to defend that route and uh, the deep zone basically just stood there and watched him catch it right in front of him so uh, cover to sink not going to get the job done against this play second here we're going to go ahead with the cloud flats which is kind of a deeper variation of uh, those flat zones kind of the deepest one so we'll see if that can drop deep enough so we're going to go ahead same setup here drag kobe fleener stay patient in the pocket let him cross and you're going to see once again deep zone does not guard it cloud flat does not sink back far enough and so michael thomas able to make that catch on the sideline so 0 for 2 there with cover 2 so now we're going to go ahead drag kobe fleener again we're going to do it against cover 3 which hypothetically cover 3 with the curl flats on the outside would probably be the you know best defense on paper to kind of defend against this route because of the fact that the curl flat is hypothetically should be kind of the deepest sideline zone out there aside from a straight up deep zone and so it's kind of the area of the field he should be guarding so we're going to go ahead we'll drag him back to that part of the field we'll go ahead highlight michael thomas once again and so our defenders already in position highlighted michael thomas there should be plenty of emphasis on him go ahead snap the ball here and you're going to see once again nobody anywhere close to making a play michael thomas uh, with the possession catch on the sideline once again curl flat zone did not drop deep enough deep third zone on the right side there did not come up and make a play on the ball and i can understand in cover two the deep zone not maybe not coming up because they do have to worry about that willie sneed route but against cover three basically uh, you have a deep crossing route for each zone so the the left deep third can worry about ted ginn the middle third can worry about willie sneed and then the right deep third should be able to play much more aggressively on michael thomas so right here last but not least we're going to go ahead quarter flat out of cover four go ahead highlight michael thomas once again drag kobe fleener snap of the ball here and you're going to see that once again michael thomas going to be able to make that catch behind the quarter flat which does not sink back far enough and in front of that deep quarter zone on the right sideline that once again just watches michael thomas make the catch so Right there, you saw that route just not able to be defended, and it's primarily the deep zone logic. I don't know if any, you know, curl flat, cloud flat should drop back deep enough to guard that route. As you can see, it's a fairly deep route, about 30 yards down the field, but those deep zones really need to play much more aggressively right now. I think they're way too passive. Uh, they just watch the play happen in front of them and let receivers catch balls for free, you know, right in front of their faces. So that's kind of the reason why you're going to be seeing that patch come out within the next few weeks most likely in case you guys didn't know and so we'll see how that kind of changes up the game when it comes out but i hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely comment let me know what you guys thought and until next time guys take it easy